Now, let's play some ball. Okay, we won't play ball, uh, literally, but we we're going to use uh, this ball and a couple of other balls of different uh, uh, sizes to help us develop yet another skill. Not only joint mobility, but also sensitivity and what will be later um, become the skill of tactile control. Uh, briefly, tactile control is something that uh, is not specific uh, to only to Russian martial arts. Uh, there are other styles of martial arts that also use different, let's say, have different uh, approaches to this very subject of tactile control. And in Russian martial arts is uh, the ability to, let's say, to monitor your opponent's activity, especially uh, his hand activity, but not only, uh, through uh, the, you know, the, the, the sense, the tactile sense, especially uh, from your forearms, okay, and much less your palms and fingers. Once you get this, uh, the, the, the skill um, in, a, you know, at a good level, you can really understand if he tries to uh, apply incoming force, he tries to retract and hit from another angle, or also uh, understand the, uh, you know, the stiff parts of, your, of his body, where his balance is, you know, uh, there's you know, a big number of information that you can get just from that tactile control. But in order to achieve that, uh, you have to uh, train, first train your hands, your, your arms, your forearms, your elbows to understand, um, let's say, the different directions that force uh, develops in an interaction, uh, uh, you know, in a free interaction, let's say. Okay, and a good tool to help you do this is as we said, the ball. Okay, there is uh, a few exercises that, that you can do with it. The first of them is you place it against the wall and try to do things to it by turning, rotating, uh, lifting and dropping your arm. I'm not saying your hand because your hand, your actual hand, your palm uh, will not participate or it will participate you know, just for split seconds. It's mostly work for your forearm and, you know, all this part, okay? You can see that also the wrist plays part. I rotate, I turn, and I follow. Now my elbow is making contact, turning, I pass to the other hand, up, rotating. Now, look, my upper arm is making contact. I can do also with my shoulder, turn, go underneath, go on top, and then regain position and control. Also, Follow with your body, okay? If the ball goes down, then squat and follow it. Up, again. Now, my body comes momentarily into play. All right. Hoppa. If you want to make it more challenging, well, this is what a uh, smaller ball is for. Smaller ball is not only smaller, but also lighter. Uh, the basketball, um, the basketball ball has um, also some weight, which helps. Now this is much lighter and it will be much more difficult. So start slowly and we'll see what happens. Now is where arm movement and control becomes really important because if you do really kind of gross movement, the ball will fall. Hop, like this.
if you want to make it even more difficult, try not to look the ball, okay? Look to the other side and just try to understand uh, the way the ball moves just by the tactile control information that you get from your arms, okay?